Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're just going to add what's called a toast message that will pop up in the corner of our dashboard whenever the temperature gets too hot. And just to clarify, toast is the name of the type of ephemeral message that pops up on a screen and not the state of our simulated machine if we were to allow it to run too hot for too long. So, let's get started. All right, so first of all, let's take a look at what we have right now. So I'm just going to use the inject node here to get it started. And for me right now, it went to 350 immediately. So right here, we've got an object that is what ends up heading to AWS right here. But whenever we get our message back, it's actually a string. Now we want to manipulate this string to give us a more friendly error message and not just the string of reading 355. What I wanted to do is say 355 is too hot, so we're going to need to manipulate this some. So what I want to do first is I want to convert this from a string to an object. And to do that, I'll head up to my filter notes here and just type in JSON, and I'm going to drag that in. Now let's go ahead and configure that to always convert to JSON object, just like so. And done, and deploy. All right, and let's kick this off again. There we go, okay, great. So now we have the exact reading that we want. So now what we need to do is extract this 356 and just append that to is too hot, a string. So let's use a function for that. Let's go ahead and type function up there and let's drag that in. So now what we've got is we want to set up our message. And that's going to equal a payload, just like so. And that payload is going to consist of a message. And that's going to be msg.payload.reading plus, just like so, add a quote and a space is too hot. And then we return our message, just like so. So let's go ahead and click done and deploy and let's take a look at what this looks like. I'll clear my debug and inject again. All right, so now we have a message, 352 is too hot, perfect. All right, so now as you know, we have our message coming out. Let's go ahead and add a notification from this. So I'm just going to drag in the notification icon, which also can be found by typing in UI, and you'll see notification here. Let's go ahead and drag that out. And we're going to wire that to our function node. Open that notification. Let's set the timeout to five seconds instead of three. It's going to be in the top right, that's fine. I'm actually not going to worry about anything else right now. Let's click done and deploy. And let's head back over to our dashboard and click start. All right, as you can see, we've still got an object. So we just need to do one more thing. So what we need to do is just extract this message because as you can see, we've still got an object here. So we just want to extract this message from here and output only that string. So there are a lot of ways to do this, but I just want to kind of show you the multiple ways you can manipulate these objects. So what I'm going to do is drag in another change node here, just like so. And we're going to set message.payload to message.payload.message, just like so. Let's go ahead and click done and deploy. And let's try this again. 355 is too hot. All right, perfect. So it works. So now we have a fully functional dashboard here that is communicating with AWS and reporting through a message whenever something gets too hot, whenever we reach this threshold. And then of course, it also stops the machine. So that's all for this lesson. Go ahead and mark it complete. Come on back to the next one and we'll continue the course.